Bluey. Every parent knows about that show. Why is that important? Loan officers are parents, real estate agents are parents, and you know who buys a lot of homes? New parents, existing parents, and all of them are watching Bluey, which has been taking us through all real life situations. But never before have they touched on what is happening in the real world in the real estate market. The financial burden of rising prices of everything around the home, whether you're fixing it, supplying it with food, buying furniture. Dad gets a call, has a new job opportunity out of state, sits down with the wife, discusses it. This is our chance to give our kids a better life, us a better life, relief of the stress of these bills that just keep coming. And they say yes, and they call the real estate agent. The real estate agent answers, sets the contract, and puts the sign in the front yard. And there's two little girls, not really old enough to grasp exactly what's happening. Bingo and Bluey. And they see this sign in the front yard. And to them, that represents the fact that they have to leave the home, which means leave their friends, leave the area they're comfortable with, leave all their memories where they built forts and played uppy with the balloon and keep it off the ground and built obstacle courses in the backyard. This episode touches on the consequences around a home to me when you just talk rates and you just talk financial vehicles and you don't get back to talking about family. And so the story becomes the kids are trying their journey and their hardest to go find ways to get that sign out of the ground because they believe if they get the sign out of the ground, they have that home and that foundation. And it goes all the way, fantastic episode to the end. They can't get it out of the ground. They have no control of that. And it gets sold and they have to move. And I had a little tear in my eyes. And then they're sitting in the driveway saying goodbye to their home, their father, Bandit gets the call, they can't hear. They just see him on the phone, in front of the sign. And then he peels off the sold sign and they kind of look up. And he sits there and he stares at that for sale sign, they have it big. And then he reaches in the ground and you can see him, you know, cartoon straight and pulls it out, background music playing, throws in the street. And then the kids come running out, they tackle dad. It's about the happiest you could be, tears of joy. Um, to me, it's relevant because our guest, Jason Rivero, who represents NAR Rep, they go more than rate. They go deeper than rate. They today talked about resources. I think they supply opportunities for reputation. And I think they also have a great sense of reality. Resources. If you listen to the today's show, Jason multiple times points you at different areas where there are resources available for their concept, which is family. There's just different pathways to growth and they practice it and then they preach it to their groups. Reputation. Now is the time where you work on your reputation and you make your reputation around the house, the family, the walls, the kitchen, the dining room, the stories that that family grew up in and that the future buyer will now make with their family. And my, Matt Lionel has this unbelievable Instagram video that I talked about that shows a story of watching a family's first, kid's first walk, first ball game, first prom, telling it in one of those beautiful narrative voices like it's on Lifetime. And at the end, you think it's the mother talking, it's the house talking, waiting for its next family. So that's my important message out of here. Snap back to reality. The reality is the home is the same thing it's been since the beginning of time. It's a roof over the head where memories are built and the home is what you make it. And we're glad you make this show your home every Sunday. And if you don't, hit subscribe, follow along because we want you as part of our family as we give the message of what mortgage industry is talking about so that you can get in the home of your dreams and get to see some amazing people along the way. Si, sí, se puede is the saying that, that says, Yes, you can. And yes, you're able to. In other words, today we had Jason Rivero, and as one of the executive members of NAREP, he's able to inform, educate us, 
on not only what is the membership doing for its members, but what are they doing for the real estate community for themselves as well. And I'm in much appreciation for the facts he put out there. If you needed to know more about how to speak in certain things about in the Spanish language. So if you are in English speaking, not knowing any Spanish except for taco and burrito, and you want to know some of the real estate terms, there's a glossary on the NARUP website. NARUP has programs for the real estate professional to educate not only the real estate professional, but also the families of their potential buyers and the potential sellers, how to be a better business person, how to be a better real estate professional. So listening to Jason today gave us not only insight on what NAREP can do for its membership and also for all the real estate professionals out there, he gave us an education on how the membership of NAREP is changing the course and face of real estate professionals nationwide. It's also a better show on being a better real estate professional in working with the Latin American market, the Spanish speaking market, and those buyers and sellers that are living in the areas which are predominantly Spanish speaking. So go ahead and get on their website, get the language so that you can get some of that language. You might not know how to speak all of it, but there are materials available to you.